Las Vegas, we're out here with the King Paris of France here today. And I want to ask him the simple question that we ask around the world. What do you know? I know a little bit about dancing, a little bit about singing. All right. So before I leave, I'm going to let you do a little dance one. But I want to ask you five very simple questions. Is that okay? Yes. That's this is the first question here. Nothing too difficult. A really simple question, right? What is 50% of 14? That's uh, five. 15% of, um, what would you say? 5% of 14 is five, right? 50% of 14, that's five. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? 50% of 14 is five. 14 divided by five, you have to put a zero for 140, then you divide it straight down the middle. It goes into it uh, three times minus one, that's 3.2.5. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. And then you add it together, but you subtract the uh, bonus point and that gives you five. You feel me? Man, what the f is you what talking about? What the f was that? That's, that equals 2.5 plus 2.5. And that's five. It's the square root of 14. The division way, 50%, instead of uh, divided by. I've been all over the world, um, to Canada, London, Guyana, and I have, I have never met someone like you. Thank you. What, it, what does that mean? Is that, what does that mean? It means that you're a really special guy. But this show is all about education through entertainment, you know. 50% of 14 is 7. 50% of 14 is not 7. That's half of 7. Right. The 14 way. 14 divided by 2. The 50% way cannot be uh, 7 because it would have to be 700, which is 100%. One hour later. And then that would be 450, which rounds up to 5 the um, smaller number way. Instead of 700, you put it to 70, and then you put it to 7, and then... Two hours later. Um, 7, which is a singular number. So once it's 4.5... Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. And um, you have 4.50, you round that up to 5. And that would be 50% of 7. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> so... You bring tears to my eyes, boy. Oh, gosh. Thank you. So, no, but this show is all about education through entertainment. 50% of 14 is 7. Well, it depends on what you believe. <laughs> you serious? Because if you say 50% um, of 14 is 7, if you get a math uh, test and you, and you have 14 questions and you only get um seven of them right you don't get 50 percent you get an f that's like 25 percent you cannot answer seven of them right and get a 50 percent i want to teach you something here today i no, like i don't know if you've seen my eyes here no like i I'm crying right now. I'm crying. This show is all about education through entertainment. I want to teach you something here today. I mean, it's all about laughter and learning. So although we might laugh at you a little bit, 50% of 14 is 7. 50% of 14 cannot be 7. <laughs> you would still have to say that one thing. If you got... Um, 14 coconuts and you divide them in half, that's still not 50%. Let's just say half of half of 14 is 7. That's not 50% because then you'd have to say, what about those coconuts that equal 50% of a coconut? That would be a coconut split in half and not 14 coconuts separated. Hell no, till the no, 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 hell till the no. You'd have to split the coconut in half to get um, a 50% of one coconut. So it has to be 4.5 rounded up to 5. So, so I, 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 need, I need to understand this. So 50% so and, and a half is not the same thing? No. 
Come on, man. What are we talking about? That's just dividing 14 coconuts into di two different piles. If you want to actually get 50% of a coconut, a coconut I can't. is Help husk me God. Help and me. flesh. Help me, Lord. I'm and the flesh uh, has liquid, like a coconut milk. So if what? you wanted to make 50% of a coconut, you Bro, have to cut it in half so you could get the outside and the inside. Instead here? of just setting it differently from another coconut. So if there's 14, the only way to get 50% is to now actually you get uh, 4.50 rather than 50. 50. You Otherwise, you would end up getting oh, yeah. 14 something split in half. That, that, that's a question called uh, what is 14 split in half? So, you asked me this. You asked me the square root of 14. That's five um, through the roundup instead of what is 14 divided by two, and that would be what is 14 split in half. All right, let's um, let's move on to the next question. Oh, thank God. Which country is Las Vegas located in? It's located in North America, which is actually on the continent of. Um, Americano Islando. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Americano Islando. Islando, it's like um, a Latin termination for the continent American. Like uh, America, the continent is pronounced Americano Islando. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. But uh, Las Vegas and Nevada are located in the country North America. That means the United States section of Mexico, um, the U.S., and Canada on one continent. That would be North America. What is the 13th month of the year? Is there a 13th month of the year? Yeah, that's only when you group together all the leap years that have passed, and it would equal the zodiac sign of the Capricious. What did he say? And that month would be called Wagateri. 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 W A G A T um, A R Y. Wagatori. W A G A T O R Y. That, so I mean, you get the, the, the leap year when you have that day that uh, February is not 28, but it equals 29. After so many years, you add that extra day that you get um, from uh, February being 29, and then you, eventually you get 31 of those bonus uh, days, and they equal a month called Wagatory. I can't, I just can't imagine. I can't, I can't, I can't understand this. <laughs> You learn something every day, eh, boy. You really learn something yet, uh, every day. This is the next question here. Um, very simple question, really easy question. Which month comes between September and November? That would be October. Yes! And this is the next question. The fourth question here, a really simple question. What is the official currency of the United Kingdom? Of the United Kingdom would, would be the fourth pence. The fifth, it would be the fourth pence. The fifth pence is actually more commonly used because it's actually in a small bill form. But the fourth pence is the actual national currency that you use, the most highly toted one. And that would be kind of like a, when you have the Dungeons and Dragons and they have one made after it called a schmeckle. This way it would be the fourth pence after King Louis IV, the greatest king um, to, to England. All right, um, this is the final question here. Nothing too difficult. I'm going to just ask you one more question here before we go. Really simple question. Can you tell me what are the five human senses? Um, sound, sight, hearing, vision, and auditory. Damn! I'm sorry. In which period did Mahatma Gandhi serve as president of the United States of America? That would be during the fifth electoral vote. <laughs> the season, hey, yo, hey, yo. They did not have a current president um, to establish an office. That was after uh, Abraham Lincoln's uh, third and fourth term where um, Mahat Gandhi had to come in and be the fifth president standing, fill in full term, full recognition. And that was around 1855. So what's your name? Marina. Marina. Yeah. You're understanding my accent, right? I do, I do. This is the question here. What is 50% of 14? Five. 
I'm, I'm telling him that 50 percent of 14 is seven is that correct 14. Yeah. yeah so is 50 percent of 14 seven no why it's uh 4.5 because At, like no like, like i need you to help me to understand the logic you want to come a little closer right because we're trying to figure it out what is 50 percent of 14 seven and what is 50 percent of 14 i say five so 50 percent of 14 is not seven no why um, 14 cannot be um, a percentage because it would have to hit a hundred first on a number count before you could distribute percentage. So you would add a zero and then it would be 140. And then once you have 140, you divide it by 50 and you get 4.50. And that rounds up in math to five. Are you a genius? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a part of Mensa. Okay, that was impressive. So what is 50% of 14? Five? Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you didn't know. If you could do this, um, if you ask her to, yeah. to use her phone, um, if you do 14 divided by two, it might say seven. If you do 14 um, divided by 50%, it'll show up five. All right, darling, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Check out the show on YouTube. It's what you know on YouTube. And I guess, what's 50% of 14? Five, I guess. I mean, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs>